What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today we're not going to talk about stingrays, but today we got another shipment. You see that? Big boxes. What does big boxes mean? Big boxes means big fish. All right, come on guys, let's go take a look. This is the first box, or actually this is the second box that we opened. The first box is already open. It's right there. I'm not going to show that to you guys yet, but I want to show you this guy. All right, this thing is huge. Can you guys even tell what this is? Just look at that body right there. It's insane. It wraps around this whole box and we're about to open this up. It is, um, I'll just tell you guys what it is if you guys haven't figured it out already. It's a giant electric eel. Way bigger than the ones that we got before. This thing is U shape around the whole box. So I would think this thing is probably about five feet long. We're gonna crack this thing open, but I think that eel is probably bigger than Oi's legs. Right? It's fatter than Oi's legs. So look how fat that thing is. It's crazy. Alright, here. Alright, take over. Alright, now I learned a little bit from the last time we dealt with these eels, okay? Um, they do like to lunge, so we're going to be very careful about that and, um, and, and see because when they lunge, they lunge to try to press their, their, their lower chin area um, and that's how they shock their, their um, what's that, you want to say prey or their intended target. So we want to be really careful this time and since this guy is so big, he, I just want to make sure he doesn't jump right out of this bag. Hey, Ellie, can you help me open the bag? Holy open cow. Open the bag. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, I showed them this thing. Just roll the bag down. Be careful now. Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely insane. It's like a freaking anaconda. Yeah, you might. Uh, just to give you guys some perspective, this box is nearly about I think 32 inches across uh, side to side so given that it's let's say approximately 30 inches that way and another two feet that way and another 30 inches that way this thing is almost six feet long insane so now the scary part is I gotta change some of this water okay I gotta do it without getting shocked so I'm gonna be very careful I'm gonna be very focused on what I'm doing here and not so much on filming. Oil will just film me, but we're gonna start changing this water now. The head is the side that emits the most current. So we're gonna stay away from the head. Um, I just don't know. Uh, you can aim it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not yet. Let me just take some water out first. Um, so I don't know how quickly these things can move. Right? Are they like a snake where they can just strike? Oh but I'm just gonna be very careful here and definitely staying away from his head. <laughs> you got goosebumps, right? Yeah. Well, we gotta be careful. Yes, the water is actually very dirty. Um, right behind his little um, I don't know what those fins are called. Uh, those are not pictorial fins. Uh, where the little hands are, right there. Show them right under the hands. You see, he's bulging a little bit. So I've learned that, you know, there's, they probably didn't purge his eel very well and he's still got food in him. That's why he's bulging on the sides over there. And that's what makes his water so dirty as well. Uh-oh, he looks like he's moving around a little bit, right? Uh, good thing it's just hurry up. You call me when. Well, the more water I get out, then we, the less water we have to change. We don't have to do this again. Because he's waking up and then he troubles. Ah. I mean, I would assume that he can only strike from the head. I don't think he can lift his tail and whip it around at me, right? Like a stingray. You know how a stingray can whip its tail like that? Yeah. I'm assuming that this eel, this eel can't do that. So I'm just very focused on his head. And look like, you see, he's closing his... He's shaping, yeah. coming over towards me. Okay, we'll add some water now. Let's go straight down. 
right here, okay? So, so look, he's, oh. he's, he's starting to move a little bit. Okay, mm. but hopefully he want to stay by the fresh water and I'm going to scoop over here. So the thing is now, guys, these fish are actually not shipping out today. Because <clears throat> uh, some of the other fish need to t have a little break before it uh, continues on to the next part of its journey. Um, and I don't have a tank for these guys. So what I'm going to be doing is this process every day, changing the water and giving them fresh oxygen. But maybe I might do it like only uh, once every two days because these eels are very strong. But so right now I just want to make sure the water is clean and I'm going to pack it with more water so that it will last for two days. So that way I will only have to do this again right before shipping out. And in case you're wondering, this is not the only one we got today because the whole truck was full of these monster sized boxes. All right. So I think it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. He's very calm. Going nice and smooth. Babe, you come in the thing. Come here. Come here. Don't be scared. Come close around here. Come to around my like Put the water over there. Yeah. See, this thing is so big, it's like a barricade. What is it? We were able to yeah. clean out all the water in the middle over here, and then the water on the sides are still dirty. You see how dirty the water on the sides are here? So he's like back. Oh, 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 be careful. Ah. All right, he's starting to wake up now. See, because I had to touch him, I had to move him to get the dirty water over here. Oh my goodness. Well, that's how big he is. And I just need to get that dirty water out of there. Oh, okay, yeah. let's, let's take a break, Oi, right, and focus on what we're doing because he's actually waking up and moving around now, okay? So we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So we've done already uh, two, four, five, six boxes already. Let me show you guys this box. It's a double banger. We got two eels in here in the one container. Not quite as big as the other one, that first one I showed you. But uh, these guys are pretty big as well. I think they're a good one, two, three, four, five feet. Definitely five feet. All right. And uh, see how they make the boxes here. So they use the foam lining with a big box, plywood bottom. Because uh, you can't get boxes this big, so they have to be custom made. Let me see. We got two more here, and uh, I haven't changed the water yet. I'm going to get to this one next. I just wanted to stop and show you guys a little bit more. Oh, let me show you guys. We also had uh, some Lynn's catfish here. I didn't get to show you those. Uh, we still have more to unbox, so I definitely will show you. But that's three right there. The eels I elected to leave in the box, but the Lynn's I didn't want to leave in the box and keep repacking. So I cleared out some tank space. And let's see, so we got two of the medium ones here and uh, three larger ones down here. So if any of you guys are interested, feel free to hit up myself or Rodrigo at Predatory Fins, all right? I'm gonna get back to work. I'll show you a little bit more as I progress. I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm just gonna wrap up this video with one last eel and this guy is a beast. Check this guy out, look at that thing. It's even bigger than the first one and the color is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that red on the belly, on the underside of his mouth, and even on the fins down here. It's a really beautiful fish. I can imagine how graceful this thing is uh, in a tank swimming. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, whenever I get crazy stuff like this, I want to share with you. Sometimes when I get these shipments in, you know, I get a little bit busy and I don't share it. But something like this, I just have to show you guys, all right? So again, thank you guys for watching. As always, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take care, guys.